This is a practice video for Across the Wind by Doug Spada. This is the first violin part. Uh, so I'm going to show you how to do this figure at the beginning first, and then uh, we'll run through it at kind of a medium fast speed. Um, I'd like to go faster than this at the concert, but we're going to do it at 115, a quarter note equals 115. Um, so let's talk about some basics first. So key signature, we're in the key of F major, B flat in the key signature, so low one on the A string and E string, all low twos, um, and then low four on the E string. Nothing too crazy with accidentals in this piece. It stays really pretty straightforward. Um, this piece mostly focuses on rhythms and then um, a very emotional melodic so uh, section in the middle. So the beginning uh, repeated rhythm and bowing that you see. You're going to start off with two sixteenths and an eighth. Stop your bow for that staccato. Do an up and then you do it again. And then three more. So again in slow motion. And then a little faster. Notice I'm in the lower half of the bow. I want to keep this light and in the lower part. If you start getting out towards the upper half, it's hard to do those staccatos as, uh, as well. So once you have that under your fingers, you can start speeding it up and working through. Um, I put the finger number of each measure, you know, the start of each measure to try to help you keep track of where you are because it is kind of easy to get lost. Now, if you don't like all those open A's, you can absolutely do this up in third position. Starting on a two. shift down and like measure, oh no, you could actually stay up and measure seven. So experiment with that. If you prefer that fingering, by all means, go for it. Uh, let's see. I'm not going to take the repeats. We're just going to go through, straight through 39 and 96, and that should do it. So here we go. Again, watching uh, where I am in the bow and how I'm playing these staccato eighth notes. All right, here we go. One, two, three, four. I wasn't going to repeat, and I totally went to the first ending. Sorry. So let's start right in the second ending. So this is measure 47. One, two, three, four. Did I do that wrong? I think I did that wrong. Here's th uh, 50. Two, three, four.
three, four. you guys can do that um, and then 96 I'll take that and I will do the second ending this time ready and where your articulation is changing and then really using lots of big bows, big vibrato for a gorgeous sound on all those really melodic spots.